Commission had a, a, very, a very courageous, a very bold vision uh, to establish across the footprint of Southern and Southwest Virginia uh, six research and development commercialization centers called energy centers. They targeted the energy sector because we all know that energy is a very hot topic and it will be probably for <coughs> from now into perpetuity. Uh, we will always be talking about energy in some shape, form, or fashion, uh, new technologies, because we all know that uh, we need to uh, solve some of, the, so, some of those issues that we have right now with, with energy. Our mission is to commercialize clean tech energy technologies uh, either as an incubator or a research and development project that turns into a new commercial idea or process and to spin that off and accelerate the, the advancement of those type of industries in our area. We want to attract companies to our area, we want to create new jobs in our sector, we want to transition out of the old economy uh, with textiles and manufacturing, although that's very important and that's sort of the, the mainstay of Halifax County is manufacturing and those type of industries. We also want to add to that the next element which brings us into the 21st century, which are higher paying, higher tech jobs, uh, and to do that, we feel like energy is probably the best field to focus on. We have a number of different ways that we bring those high-tech jobs here and that we help to support those type of businesses. First thing that we have are state-of-the-art resources. Uh, we're, we're sort of out in the middle of nowhere is a, a good way to say it. <laughs> But if you go two hours in any direction, you're in a major city, which is really nice about uh, South Boston. But you don't want to drive two hours every time you want to meet the world, so we have a Cisco telepresence system here, which allows you to connect anywhere in the globe uh, in, a, in a very real life-like way. So we'll, we'll see that as you take a tour here, but it's a very nice way to, to within a push of a button, you can meet anyone uh, in a very uh, realistic type of meeting. We also have uh, a marketing promotion tools here at the Energy Center. It allows us to develop very professional um, broadcast type of media that you can use to, to promote your project, to promote your business, to promote an idea or concept. We can develop those type of materials here for, for media and production. We have uh, business incubator programs here were not just space. Many incubators, uh, commercialization centers, sometimes they become just kind of glorified landlords and you rent space from them and that's the end of the story. But here at the Energy Center, we want to make sure that doesn't happen. So if you're in our Energy Center as a startup business, uh, we bring you through a set of steps to get you to commercialization. We help our businesses with uh, business planning, strategic planning, project planning, market planning, uh, raising the type of capital that they need to succeed, to do risk analysis, to look at gaps that they might have, uh, to see, to help them see things they might not be seeing, potential roadblocks or, or uh, dips in, along the way that they might see, help them get through the valley of death that most companies go through at the beginning stages. We help with networking uh, with uh, our stakeholders and our partners, we really can put companies in front of the right people that they need to talk to that are higher up. So this really becomes a great opportunity for them. In an incubator, there's a national statistic that says that one out of every five companies will succeed if they are not a startup company, will succeed if it, if it doesn't come through an incubator. And the statistic reverses, if a company comes through an incubator, about four out of five will succeed. So uh, it is it is a healthy environment, angel investors, venture capital firms, they like to see when companies are coming through an incubator because they know that they have a higher <coughs> chance of success. So that's part of what we offer here other than just plain office space. Again, we want to incubate companies, <coughs> technologies that are in the clean energy space, sustainable energy. We also have uh, some research and development going on at the Energy Center and we're really just getting started and we have a lot of different ideas and, and big uh, visions, but we want to uh, use the tools that we have in place to try to establish research and development programs that are more 
big D, little R, so you're closer to getting to commercial uh, commercialization. You're not at the beginning stages of just forming an idea in your mind, but you're actually farther along the pike. Well, where do we get those ideas from? We get them from universities, we get them from uh, national labs, federal labs, that are doing research, are spending billions of dollars on research. They get it to a certain point, and then it usually sits on the shelf, and they go start the next project, and it never goes anywhere. So at each one of these universities, at each one of these federal labs, there's thousands of technologies sitting there ready to be commercialized. And they usually have programs that can help you interact with those agencies, transfer the technology out of them and, and into a commercial environment. So we will leverage a lot of those type of relationships, build those relationships with those elements that are doing that type of research and then help connect those technologies with small startup business or larger businesses that need the technology to get into the market. Uh, we have here two tools that we can help people do research and development with. One is the modeling and simulation cave, which is a virtual reality environment uh, for three-dimensional uh, viewing. And then we have a center for coding's application research and education, which we call CCARE which is another program that was just funded through the Tobacco Commission. We put it underneath the Energy Center. But this, this facility will uh, do a lot of coatings research and surface engineering technology research and development. What are our areas of business uh, interest? We, uh, in terms of uh, energy technologies, well, that kind of spans across the board, but first thing we want to look at is, since we're such an agriculturally <coughs> based economy here, we're a rural area, Tobacco farms have been hit pretty hard. There's a lot of farm area in this region. It's not being used for anything right now. What can we use it for? Since we're the energy center, making the connection between agricultural products and energy makes sense. We want to benefit those farmers in our agricultural economy that's here. So we feel that agribusiness is a very strong focal point for the energy center. We want to bring in projects that can convert energy crops into energy. There's a lot of different ways to do that, and I know you've all heard about this in the news, and some of you may even be involved with some of these <coughs> projects. Uh, but people are doing everything from converting um, wood into ethanol or wood into sugar, switchgrass into ethanol or switchgrass into plastic. I mean, you, you, the list goes on and on and on and on. We want to get involved with that, and we are starting to prospect out businesses that can help us in this area. Uh, energy storage and generation, um, we all know that um, solar would be a great way to generate our energy needs in this nation, and so would we. There's one major problem with those technologies, and that is uh, the intermittency. So you have power generated short periods of time, uh, and then you have to store it for when you really want to use it. And so with solar, you only get solar energy for about five hours a day on average. So what do you do with the other uh, 19 hours of the day? So storing it is the big component. That's the missing piece of the puzzle right now that I think that everyone's talking about that it's not um, allowing solar to become commercially viable on a large scale. And so the main, the main uh, element to that piece of that puzzle is the, the batteries. Uh, they're not, they're, they're not uh, commercially viable right now. It doesn't make sense. You, Solar is like 20, 20 cents a kilowatt hour right now. We get it from coal for five cents a kilowatt hour. That's mainly because of the balance of systems, which is the batteries and all the other elements you need, in addition to the solar panels to make it work. So we're working on a project with Dominion Power. They're going to be bringing in a five megawatt solar field in the Halifax County. It's going to be a research test bed for solar energy storage. So we're bringing in battery components, battery technology to test into that five megawatt solar field that can be used to understand some better ways to store the energy. Energy coatings, we have the coatings facility here. So we're working on, we like to work on projects where we can bring in solar technology, solar paint, solar thin coatings. We can actually spray paint on a solar panel. We'd like to do a project like that. We'd like to work on um, aerodynamic surfaces for windmill blades because that will reduce the friction and drag and help the windmills become more energy efficient. From what we're doing, um, and also working on a project with the Higher Ed Center and UVA and some local manufacturers in our area that deal with energy efficient housing. So, we're producing modular homes that are more energy efficient and all the technologies that go into them. 
we, we have a project underway right now where we're starting to look at that project. So, um, we also have, uh, we're a gateway to capital here. We have the Tobacco Commission to set up a research and development fund for the six energy centers for new technologies that are coming from the energy centers. Uh, they can apply to the research and development fund, which is a 50-50 match. 50% comes to the Tobacco Commission. The other 50% you have to provide yourself in time or cash from another partner. So we'll match it one to one. And uh, they'll allow you to use that money for operations to get your idea or concept to market. So they have $100 million set aside for that for that program. Uh, I think about $40 million has already been spent. They have another $60 million that they're going to award over here over the next few years. We're a gateway to applying for that money. The process is relatively easy to go through, uh, but they do want to see projects that have commercial viability and create jobs in their area. That's the big key. Uh, we also working with CIT and other organizations to bring capital to our to our burgeoning companies. Uh, last but not least, we are a center where we can provide connections for our uh, small businesses. We can provide them with uh, connections into. Uh, Large, large industry, to academia, to federal government, to federal agencies, to national labs, et cetera, et cetera, to other uh, stakeholders, shakers, and movers that may be involved in the field that they're working in, we can help them establish and make those connections. So uh, that's the Energy Center. It's part of the Industrial Development Authority here at the uh, Riverstone Technology Park. 